Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 7-2. Here we go. Are you ready? I hope you're ready. You guys are the pipe. This room looks really familiar. Like it, it might be a reference to something. I I can't put my finger on it though, but it might be a reference to something. Anyway, the screen follows this platform. Well, it actually follows you, sort of, but you you, need, you know, you need the platform. Oh, I could have gotten the one up there. At least, that's, I mean, I tried for it and I failed. And the screen also loops around here, so, uh, uh, yeah. And you can get the platform to move back down a little bit if you hit your head on a ceiling while standing on the platform. Like, watch this. You won't get squished, you'll just push it down a little bit. It's just a gently floating platform. Um, I want a Koopa for, oh, this isn't it just yet. You want a Koopa ahead of, oops, ahead of time for one of the shafts that you're coming out of. And it, you probably don't want fireballs anyway, come to think of it. Uh, just because of the risk of killing said Koopa and yeah, all poopers. Uh, I probably still want to have some sort of power up though. I'll just make sure I hold that Y button really tight. <laughs> oh, let's loop around. Oh yeah, the screen loops in this stage. It's a really gimmicky stage overall, but it's pretty fun. Um, mm, I just want to look ahead here, because I'm still looking for this thing that I need to hit with a Koopa shell. I mean, I can't hit this with a Koopa shell, but it's not going to lead to, oops, lead to a coin. Um, it's, it's actually a power-up. Uh, where is the spot that I need a coin? I mean, I need a shell for a coin. Probably a little further up. Uh, oh, and yes, once the screen goes uh, past a certain point, it cannot go back down. So it, it like, erases the world behind you. <laughs> or something. This isn't where I need the shell, but you can get a bunch of coins if you uh, throw a shell between those blocks. Probably too risky. I don't think those coins are pointing out anything. Okay, here's the thing I need the shell for. Gimme your house. And now throw it in. Look at this, it's gonna get the coin, and it's going to poop out an extra Oh, I thought it poops out an extra life. It's oh, it's there. That's where I remember there being an extra life. Well that explains a lot. <laughs> but okay, now for this last one. This is a mean coin. You, you gotta sort of know ahead of time to get to the left side because you'll miss that coin pretty easily. <laughs> but yeah. Well, that's the level. Oh yeah. Bloop. Bloop. No. No. I missed my chance. <laughs> well, I got 7-7 seven, seven on the numbers anyway, so I guess I can live with 7 fireworks to celebrate my 100% victory on the level, aside from the 1-up that I missed at the end. Alas. Alas. Made a Mega Mushroom House pop up. 7-3! Let's go! Ooh, Wiggler return! Look at that, I, I love flipping them over like that because their legs go... <laughs> You're like, help me! Help me, I've been stunned! No, please be nice to me! And then they get all ragey. <laughs> okay, they all, they start ragey, and look at this! It's the Wiggler level! <laughs> yep, we're, the whole level, you're riding a friendly, happy little Wiggler. Okay, it's not little at all. But if you, I recommend staying as far to the right side as you possibly can because this wiggler is really long and if you make any mistakes along the way you'll be able to go back along the wiggler to uh, oh, just barely missed it you'll be able to go back along the wiggler to uh, um, uh, have a shot at getting it uh, whatever you missed uh, no secret exit but uh, be wary of odd jumps that you gotta use its body to get on top of sometimes, like when it does like a little higher bounce, I guess you could say, of its body. <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know. But anyway, there's a star run right here, and you can get a ton of coins. By the way, this level is also really, really good for getting one-ups because of all the coins that you can get and it being a star run. So, yeah. <laughs> There's also a bunch of 1-ups hanging around this level as well. Uh, 
so expect tons upon tons of lives each and every time you play this one. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Can I get up there? Uh, well, I wouldn't have been able to because I would have killed it with a star. <laughs> I was going to say, can I get up there as um, with using a star, you know, just like with a regular jump and without the assistance of an enemy? But no, nah, it's not. I don't think that would have happened. Um, over here, go under. S skip it. Don't worry. Just skip it. Now, oh shoot! I need to be big. Because this. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I need to power up. I don't think there was in that... I don't think there was a power-up in that entire level, was there? I mean, maybe there was. I'll just give it a, a quick lo look over and cut ahead. Wait, wait, yeah, there was near the start, right here. Just gotta keep it until the end, though, I suppose. But since I'm not uh, aiming for any coins, it shouldn't be all that difficult, because this is a really, really easy level. This level's more like a bonus level than anything. You know, in that, in that there's no difficulty to it whatsoever. If you ever want 99 lives, and you don't have them for some reason, come here. <laughs> Alright, now, rump on that, go inside here, yeah, I know there was a block there, but I need to go down here first. You actually have to hit that vine, otherwise the screen will scroll down, probably because, you know, you can't get back up if you do. <laughs> you know, if you jump back, I mean, if you jump down here, uh, yeah, now, to get that. Top of the flagpole, you gotta do one of those snazzy little duck jumps while running. It's tricky, especially with an Xbox D-pad. Mm. <laughs> Got it. Yeah! Success. And there we go. I think I'll do one more level. It's a tower. No secret exits. Should go pretty smoothly. So here we go. Seven Ash Tower. Start. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. Those spikes are a lot more threatening than they actually are. I mean, I, they, they look a lot more threatening than they actually are, excuse me. <laughs> they only move to the very edge of the platform. If you stay on the other edge of the platform, you will be safe. There's a cut star coin there. Don't worry, I see it. Can't get it here. Gotta go around. Just relax. I'll get it. Don't worry. Calm, calm, relax, I said, relax! Chill pill, okay. And now we go down. No, no! And now we restart. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen to me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten squished um, trying to get that star coin before, actually. It was just a little bit too hasty for my own good, and I should have hit this first. Oh, maybe not. I don't want that. <laughs> I mean, a mini mushroom is nice and all for certain circumstances. Not this level, though. <laughs> You're just too, too floaty, and you need to have control over your jumps, I guess you can say. And I'm going to sneak on ahead there. <laughs> See, that's why it's, it's not that risky of a coin to get. It just... just my timing's really unlucky here. <laughs> oh, poopers. There's this really slow one at the bottom, and there's this faster one at the top. And that's the uh, idea of it, I suppose, to uh, um, time yourself to go in there when they offset. And uh, these are some really mean blocks to hit. <laughs> yep. That could have gone worse. A lot worse. <laughs> As you've seen before. Go over to the left. Thank you. All right. Still, not be on the lookout for a coin coming up here. You gotta kind of figure out this platforming slide puzzle here to get into it. And do that. And wait for it to go back around. Good. Oh wait, it's not here. It's somewhere somewhere else. Maybe this is the puzzle I was thinking of? Maybe this isn't the castle I'm thinking of? Who knows? <laughs> Come on, go, go, go! <laughs> Thank you. 
Hurry, 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 hurry. Ellie girl gets spiked. Here, you gotta race it. Hmm. I think the second coin is actually beyond this door. It's, uh... No. I, I don't remember. Hmm. I guess I don't remember this level as well as I thought I did. Oh, don't worry, though. I'll get all the coins. Believe me. I'll get all the coins. Oh, yeah. Bloop. Um, oh, yeah, I figured those would peep out from, unbelo uh, from below. Yeah, these all don't come low enough. Aha. Aha. There's coin number two. As you can tell, this is like the castle of patience. It's a lot of waiting, a lot of picking opportunities to make sure you get through, and you will get through if you do that. Um, now here, we got ourselves a moving platform thing. We gotta go around like that, and then go up. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! shoot. <sighs> do it again. From the top. Yeah, you actually have to go in there ahead of time. Uh, otherwise, the blocks will move out of the way. And you'll be in trouble. This is a uh, really intimidating looking coin to get, but it's actually not that bad because of that uh, huge safe spot. And you can also do that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and apparently, the, the way that Bowser Jr. wears its bandana determines how its attack pattern is. If it wears it over its face, it'll have it... I guess it'll be in like defensive mode and they'll throw shells. So I guess that's, there is actually a way to tell which attack pattern it's gonna do. Which is pretty interesting. Never noticed that before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I win! How do you like that? Probably not so much. Yeah, you better run. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when we when we get into super secret exit town. Just look, look at this. Look at this confusing mess coming up ahead here. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't going to be pretty, let me tell you.